Hello everybody and welcome back to the Pop-Up Life channel. I just got back from picking up our pop-up camper from the repair shop. Had a couple little minor things that had to get done. And while it was there, I figured I'd go ahead and get them to do some custom work that I've been wanting to get done on the pop-up for a few months now. Metal fabrication and welding is not a skill set I have. So I got them to do it for me. So today I want to show you all what we got done on the pop-up at the repair shop and maybe talk about a few more things that we want to do in the future to make our pop-up work better for us. So the first thing we had to get done was to replace this stabilizer foot right here. You see that big hump right there in my yard? Well, I wasn't paying attention and went over it a little too fast when I was pulling in the camper, coming home from a camping trip a few trips ago, and uh, the foot got kind of hung up on that heel there and it ripped it completely off. So I got this new stabilizer foot put on there and these are very important for keeping the pop up nice and stable and not rocking back and forth when you're inside of it. I also got them to grease all the older stabilizer feet here. When I asked them, what should we put on there, WD-40 or whatever, and they said to use lithium. So uh, they had some lithium spray there and they uh, sprayed them down good. Now they don't squeak and they wind down nice and easy. So the next thing we got done has to do with coming up with a better way to haul our bicycle. So this is the way I was hauling them before. I have this little extender piece. This is made by Kurt, got this off Amazon. Can't remember exactly what it's called hitch extender or something like that maybe but anyway the bike rack would come out of here and go up and sit between the tailgate and the camper and that worked pretty well the only thing is it was kind of tough to get the bicycles on there because it's a four bike rack and there's not a lot of room between there but it didn't really affect my turning radius a whole lot and it worked pretty good so uh, if you want an easy way to carry bicycles this is a good one right here, this little extender piece. We've also got our sway bar down here, which helps a lot when we're driving on the interstate to keep this thing from wiggling. So that's a must for us. But this is the way we were carrying our bicycles because the stock back bumper on this thing was just not strong enough to put a hitch attachment on it to carry the bicycles. It was pretty flimsy metal. You could even kind of bend it with your hands. But what I got them to do was put a much beefier bumper on here. You can see the width of that steel there. So this is a nice, strong, beefy bumper. And then what they did was they welded a hitch onto it there. So now we can carry our bicycles on the back of the camper. So our bike rack folds out like this. We can put my bicycle, Brooklyn's bicycle, Abram's bicycle, and Titus's bicycle here on the back and haul it that way. And it's not stuck between the pop-up and the tailgate anymore. And this has worked a lot better. Now, I know a lot of people might think, well, that's going to give you a lot of extra weight on the back there. And that's going to kind of throw off your trailer balance bad, isn't it? And it does add a good bit of weight to the back there, but as long as we balance it out by putting something heavy, a cooler or something up here on the front on this new rack, it's not a problem. I did have to tighten down the sway bar a little bit more, but everything still tows pretty well. And that brings us to this guy right here, which is a custom rack we got made so we can haul firewood, coolers, just gives us a little more extra cargo space other than what we've got in the back of the truck there. So some of the pop-ups we've seen actually have a storage area on the front here on the tongue, but ours did not. All ours had was a battery and then a propane tank. And you can see the hookup for that propane tank right there. I removed that propane tank because we don't ever cook inside. We're always cooking outside. So we never use the propane tank. And I also had removed the battery because I didn't think we needed it. Little did I know for the ceiling lights to work inside there, you got to have the battery. So we got them to hook the battery back up so we could run the ceiling lights. So before this rack was here, you had a propane tank and the battery kind of sitting on that tongue there. So what they did was they built a custom rack here 
and welded it to the frame and I'm really really happy with how it turned out this can be used to haul firewood I can fit a small cooler or two in there or just a dry box whatever I want I just got to make sure I put something kind of heavy right there to balance out the weight from that new bike rack in the back now they did have to move a few things around for this all to work so my jack that's now right here used to be on that frame there but they moved it out onto this rack and I do have to jack it up a good bit higher than I used to because you see it's a lot higher than it would be if it was on that frame there so I have to jack it up higher to get it off the truck but it's not a really big deal also the clearance on this that's why I left this piece right here that kind of extends the hitch out a little bit I tried it without that extender and I didn't have a very good turning radius I had to be careful or else this jack here would be getting into my bumper there so that's why I left this extender on here even though I'm not using that piece to hold a bike rack anymore just because it gives me a little better turning radius and set up like it is now like you see it works really good and I can um, turn in almost anywhere I want without risk of damaging my bumper there and the only other kind of small caveat to this customization here has to do with my sway bar so now I have to reach underneath here like this to set the pin or that pin for my sway bar which is a little more difficult than it was before but it's really not that bad considering the added value of having this rack here on the front so the jack has to be raised a little bit higher the sway bar is a little more aggravating to get on but I can deal with that because I really like having all this extra space up here so we got a new stabilizer jack put on there we got the battery hooked back up so the lights inside will work we got the new back bumper put on there so we can haul our bikes on the back now as opposed to between the tailgate and the camper and we got that new cargo rack put on there so lots of good improvements now let's talk about a few more things we may want to do to our camper you know not immediately but in the next few months so the first one would have to do with this top here so I was asking some of the guys at the camper place, you know, maintenance wise on these pop-ups, what do we need to be worried about? You know, this thing's a 2008, it's not really old, but just things we need to be on the lookout for as far as maintenance goes. And they mentioned that you gotta make sure this top stays sealed. They said that's where they see the most damage happening with these guys is, you lose a seal on this top here or you get a crack in it or something like that so you want to make sure this thing doesn't let any water in uh, we're a member of several pop-up groups on facebook and i saw a guy on there the other day he sprayed the top of his with kind of like a rhino lining or a linex lining so i have one of those linings in the uh, bed of my truck there a black lining i think it's a linex brand but he took a white one and sprayed the top and it looked really, really good. Now I'll probably have to take it to a body shop to get that done because uh, I don't have the experience spraying, painting cars and stuff like that. But I think that would be a really nice improvement here to just seal off this roof even more and protect it, you know, in case any cracks were to emerge at some point. So we'll probably get that done. See if we can find somebody to do that spray a white kind of hard shell on the top here and um, hopefully it'll look as good as that guy's did because his look really really good so excited about getting that done just as kind of a safety measure for our roof here and the last thing that Brooklyn really wants to get done is more cosmetic than anything so on the back here we try to get a sticker or two from every place we go you can see Carabelle, Hiawassee, Black Rock Mountain, Hard Labor Creek FDR, Florence Marina, Seminole State Park, Vogel, Skidaway Island, a lot of the places we've been to in the last year. And I'm starting to run out of sticker room right there. So I'm gonna have to come over here and uh, start adding my stickers over here from all our travels. I just really like having that colorful smorgasbord of stickers there from all the places we've been. And up here on the front, we've got our 
logo there for our YouTube channel. But on this side here, where the door is, we don't have any plans of putting any stickers over here. And so what Brooklyn wants to do is get this side wrapped with kind of a mountainscape. We've seen this done on some of the pop-up groups we're in. And we've got a friend who has got a graphic business and does some vehicle wraps and stuff like that. And said so it would be no problem to do this little pop-up camper. So along the bottom here, we're thinking about removing those decals and stuff and putting us a neat little kind of mountainscape wrap along the bottom there. Like I said, purely cosmetic, but uh, I think it'll look pretty cool once it's done. Now, some people think that all this custom work and kind of changing things around with this pop-up, putting our own decals and stuff on there might affect the eventual resale value of this thing, and it might, but we don't have any plans of selling it anytime soon. We use this thing at least once a month, sometimes twice a month, going on camping trips all over the state and we wanted to make it ours and outfit it so it works better for us and reselling it and any of that is so far into the future if it ever happens we're not even really worried about that we're going to use this thing enjoy it you know burn up the roads with it have a good time and we want it to fit our style of camping which is having fun outside and then we just go inside there to sleep at night so I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of the customizations we got done and some of those ones that we might get done in the future. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and ring that bell so you get notified every time we come out with a new video. We'll see you guys on the road on our next camping trip. Over by the beauty of your life